Warga Gang, it's me, Warren, and in today's Hack Me Do, I want to show you a nifty little thing you may not be aware of. Uh, so let's jump on in and then let's take a look. Okay, so I have uh, the Umbraco 10 uh, installed and the starter kit. So let's just log into the back office. Right, so in the starter kit, I have some blog posts that have, let's take a look at this one, another one that has tags. So it has CG16, Code Garden, and Braco. Um, so in the back office search, it's possible to search for our content nodes. So uh, this one is called another, and I can get the results for uh, this, this content node, or I could search for um, blog and I get the document types of blog and blog post and the type of the content nodes and templates and bits and pieces. So this is a nice way to search the entire back office. However, what if I wanted to search for code garden? So the tag of a blog post or categories uh, in this case. So out of the box, it doesn't work. However, I'm going to quickly jump in and show you with a little bit of code how we can get this to work. So let's uh, stop running the site and let's create some code. So I'm going to aid, aid, aid. I'm going to add a new class, and I need to create a class called something like I don't know, add tags tree add tags tree searcher fields. I don't know. However, we need to inherit um, Umbraco tree searcher fields. That's the one. So it's already added the usings there for me. Umbraco CMS .infrastructure .search. And then I'm going to hit Alt Enter and generate the constructor for me. That's all good. And then I'm going to override from the base class. Uh, one of these many methods. Uh, so you can see we've got get back office document fields, get back office document fields to load, um, ones for media and members. So we can help add additional fields that we want to search on in the back office, either for content nodes, hence documents, uh, media nodes, hence the media collection there, and same for the members. And if you wanted to add it to all of them, obviously you can then change it for get back office fields. However, in this case, I know that the categories or the tags on the blog post obviously only live on a content node. So we're going to go override the get back of office document fields. And we're going to tab our way to completion. So it returns a string or a list of strings uh, or enumerable strings of uh, fields that we want to add. Um, so we need to return a new list of strings. Oh, I can type today. Uh, return a new list of strings. Um, yes, sorry. Yeah. Return a new list of strings, but we want to still use the, uh, the base class collection. So we still want to use whatever is defined in the get back office document fields that ships with Umbraco CMS. And then we just want to add our new field. So this is the alias uh, document or well, property. I forget the terminology. The document type, no, not document, the property type alias. Brain's gone blank today. So this is the property type alias, yes. So I know it's called categories and not tags. And this is lowercase, so hence it's not, uh, which is default by uh, Umbraco, at least starts uh, lowercase or camel case. So it's as simple as that, that class. Uh, so I didn't have to write much code. However, we now need to register this uh, implementation with Umbraco. So now I'm going to create a composer, add a new class, and uh, add tags composer i don't know naming's not my strong point 
So it's going to be an eye composer. Again, Alt Enter our way to success. Using in bracket CMS core composing, yes please. Then I'm going to Alt Enter again to implement the interface. So in the compose method, uh, we have the builder and we have builder add back office and set back office user store and things like that. Uh, for now, in the version of 10.1, uh, so uh, as of this recording, uh, we currently have to do it builder.services add unique. And we want to add a unique implementation of the I and Braco tree, oh, tree search of fields that is of the type add tags, tree search of fields. Um, in an upcoming version of Embraco, 10.2 for exact, uh, to be exact, uh, this will be made easier with builder dot set, uh, set tree searcher fields and it'll be along the lines of add tags tree searcher fields and it will be a little bit more easier to set and a little bit easier to discover when you're doing and poking around in the builder or the Embraco builder. Uh, you obviously get all these methods. You can see that you can set the, the last content, the content last chance finder, so the 404 stuff, and uh, the member user store and bits and pieces. So being it available on the builder in 10.2 uh, just makes it a little bit more uh, accessible or aware for, that you can set this. Uh, for now, let's uh, save this, restart our site. Wait for it to boot. And let's go to the back office. So I can use the keyboard shortcut of control space to bring up the back office search or I can click the search uh, icon in the top right hand corner. And I'm gonna search for the word code garden. And there you go, I can now find my blog post uh, that I tagged uh, code garden. Uh, so it was also CG16, uh, I think. 17, 16, yeah. So you can see this is a useful way to allow your content editors to uh, search on different pieces of content in their back office. Uh, I think this use case of a categories or tags for blog posts or maybe news articles or however, uh, is a nice way to help them find their piece of content that they've written. Uh, they know that they've written or tagged some uh, content uh, about Code Garden, but maybe you've got 200, 300 blog uh, articles and finding that article again because uh, you can't remember what you called it, would be a little bit tricky. So having the option to search uh, like this is, is a great little hack. Um, so hopefully that helped you and you learn about tree searcher fields. Tree searcher fields, is that the, is that the term? Yeah, Morocco tree searcher fields. So that's a nice little thing that you've learned and uh, I look forward to seeing what you do with it. Happy hacking. Until next time, have fun. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>